Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you're all well, healthy, and ready to take on this new year, right? This new day, one moment at a time, right? Right. That was definitely, definitely the, the lesson that Jude tried to teach, teach me this whole year, her whole seven years. Slowly getting it is to live in that present moment. I mean, Eckhart Tolle would love Jude, I tell you. She still, still is, oh, she will not let you have a conversation about planning something or anything stressful, especially. If she feels that energy, she's like, no, 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 later. Talk later, she says now. She's getting more words. It's pretty exciting. Um, so, oh, here we go. So I was just thinking on a, doing a little card reading. You know, I haven't been on um, line um, doing many videos this last, last couple months here. As you can see, growing a little bit of a, the hair there and um yeah you know just things are changing always growing um going in a lot a lot a lot less um you know posting outwardly right now you know trying to really really go in and do some final growth final uh, push through that needed to happen at the end of 2019 there right um uh, but awesome revelations and you know um exciting news ahead that again try and contain sometimes you feel that maybe then you could keep your energy going with it instead of always sharing and then you get different energies coming at you right uh with your goals and everything right um you know journal them of course and write them down and let the universe know that 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 this is what you're desiring and this is what you're you're gonna grab right from that quantum field of endless possibilities and endless um different basically like lifelines you could choose at any time which direction you're going to go in just like any sort of game right this is just a big game right so um i hope you're winning um uh, right i know that games go up and down right you know soccer world right um that's the beauty of that um this is an interesting card though that i pulled for the collective here as i was feeling on you know just the overall energy of this year and um so it's shape shifter i've never really pulled that card for the public before uh, the public we're all one right so let's see what how this resonates for anyone and maybe if you want your own little personal card reading why don't you just send me a little message and um never mind pulling a card connecting to people's energy and pulling a card it's always fun all uh, right and let's get some sort of growth out of these messages right so basically this one's telling you that you can be anything you desire i love it when it matches words that we were just speaking about about desires uh, let go of attachment to your identity. See the world around you with new eyes. Experiment with different ways of viewing reality. See the point of view of others. If you haven't been able to manifest your dreams, maybe you need to shift the way you see the person or situation. That's brilliant, you know? I mean, that was a huge one this last year for me, too, is, like, continuing to, like, work on that judgment, that blame piece um, out, outwardly. Um, you know, you think you've released all that stuff and then more comes up and you're like, oh no, I'm still judging here. I'm still blaming and, you know, that's a real difficult one, right? But um, that's part of the journey, part of the challenge, right? Is to, to keep identifying, keep living in that awareness and keep growing, right? And keep doing it all with love and joy uh, each and every day. I mean, that's what, for me, being more in the present moment, especially when with Jude uh, and living that energy and that vitality of life and that love, um, you know, it's just, it's so exciting and truly why we're here and um, which has led me again to my next, my next adventure that I'm on. And um, so, yeah, you know, live in that moment, um, you know, let go of your identity, you know, let it go. Let it float away and just be that divine inner child here to play, here to love, um, here to own that you got you and um, that you are in charge of your happiness. You're in charge of your life, what you're creating. Um, you know, play with it. Make some mistakes along the way, right? Um, but ultimately love, right? Love yourself. Love others. Um, seen some good posts for 2020, you know, that advice and then it's like i always try and go to the depths and the depths and the depths and it's like well you don't just it is the simplest form it's just be a good person right just be love 
um, emulate that for yourself and and then it just will radiate from within and it will attract and it will bring more forth to you so yeah much love and light it was nice to connect again and hopefully you know send me a little message if you want um, a little native spirit card reading and you know there's more i can give individually there's like a journey you could take and there's you know stuff your native spirit wants you to know also besides just the meaning so yeah have a little fun with it all right peace and love talk soon